um, Christine, how you doing? It's currently March 2nd, 2017. I've been working on a book. My first book. For a year. And two months now. I started in the beginning of 2016. I finished my third draft. February 12th. It's been three weeks. I'm having a lot of feelings, so I haven't touched the draft since I'd finished it. Yeah, because I knew I needed to separate myself from it. You know, you need some time to see the flaws so that you could fix those flaws so you can go back with a clear head and fix them, right? But the separation anxiety has been killing me. I don't like not working. I hate not working on it. You know, I got into a routine where I divided my day between working on YouTube stuff and writing. And I just, I feel lost without it. I, I don't like working on YouTube stuff all the time. I like having my writing and I know I could start a new writing project, but I'm not ready for that. I I, I want to fix this one. God, I miss it. So I'm itching to get back to it because I hate it. I hate this. I hate, I hate this. The good thing is it's been three weeks and two people have finished the new draft of my book, which was so exciting. So Kat has read my book now and she gave me some great feedback and some great notes. And then Natasha finished my book and she gave me some great feedback and some great notes. And I'm so glad that I waited for their notes to come back before I dove back into this because one of the big notes that they both said, as soon as they said it, I was like, oh my God, you're so right. How did I not see that? It's cause I got, I was concentrating on something else and I got caught up in fixing the other thing and I just didn't even notice that I didn't see this thing. So I'm excited to go in and fix that. I'm also just excited that people have read the story and I can like ask them other questions about it. Oh, it's so wonderful. In the moment, I always forget every question I have. I have like little questions too, like, oh, how did this joke go over? And like, what about this little aspect of this scene? But you always forget those. So if you ever have questions like that, I recommend writing yourself a list of questions to ask your test reader once they finish reading. So you're ready. Cause I've encountered this every time anyone has read any draft of my book. I have a million questions in the moment when I send it to them or when I'm writing it, but when they, they finish and they come back and they're like, yeah, this, 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 anything else? And I'm just like, oh. This is irrelevant, but this is my hair washed. I just washed my hair, but I didn't blow dry it. I, I look like a ragamuffin. I can't not blow dry my hair. It's so annoying. I hate blow drying it. I don't blow dry it though. It looks like I didn't even wash it. So like, what's the point? What was the point of washing it? I have to blow dry it. What was I talking about? My friend Julia has also started reading it and she's gotten to page 100. And Julia, Julia also reads a lot and she works in Hollywood. She reads a ton of scripts. She has a lot of opinions. So I wanted to get her feedback too before I go in. Um, I just, I need to go back in though. I need to go in. I got on a call with her today and like, we went through the first 90 pages and her opinions and notes on so many things. Like we hit on a lot of stuff, little things that I would never think to ask. Because like I said, when you talk to someone who's read your stuff, if you don't have a list of questions ready, you're not gonna hit them. And the more I talk to people about the draft, the more, like I said before, like things start to rise out of the water. It's like watching a photo develop. I don't know if you've taken a photography class where you use a real camera and you develop the pictures, but like you can't see anything and then slowly the picture comes into focus. It's kind of like when you take a Polaroid, but like it's way more satisfying when you're developing a picture because you have to like put in the different chemicals. Anyway, it's like that. That's where I'm at. I've been taking notes, readying myself for draft number four. Lord has an amazing new song. Ed Sharon has an amazing new CD album. It'd be amazing to write to, but here I am just like not writing because I'm on a break. We are on a break. Hey. I don't like not writing. I don't like it. I'd love to hear about your experiences with breaks. How do you, uh, do you feel like this? Do you feel like you miss it? I don't like this. I don't like my hair when I don't blow dry it. I'd ask you guys for questions. But I probably shouldn't ask you guys for questions because like I haven't written anything. But I've thinking, I've thought it, I've thought it. I've thought it a lot of things. I've had a lot of thought in it. I think that'll be it for today. I just wanted to document the separation anxiety happening right now. I want to go into draft four. I think I'm going to start draft four tonight. A selection from a writing playlist. <laughs> Sweatshirt. 
my life. I am Christina. I videos every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>